and we start training our mind, training our mind to be more present, to be more grateful, to have more gratitude. We we start playing the foundation for the rest of our lives, and we start uh, creating a new world for ourselves. There's nothing like being able to um, wake up in the morning and have passion in your heart and be grateful and have gratitude for the things you have and then the things you don't have. Um, these days I practice a lot of mindfulness throughout the day and I, um, what helps a lot is being aware of what we're thinking, um, is being able to bring ourselves back down to our conscious state of being and reality. When we start thinking about negative things or we, uh, and in result having negative emotions in people, places, and things. And when we're able to be more conscious, aware of what we're thinking about and what we're about to do and being able to stop ourselves from doing something negative that's going to have negative consequences, say conflict, engaging with someone in conflict, when we're able to be more mind, you know, awareness of what we're consciously uh, it's what we're thinking about. It changes the ball game, and life starts becoming a lot more abundant when we're able to drop negative thoughts and feelings from our minds and not pay attention to the negative outside world. So we're able to concentrate on what we're trying to do in our own lives, whether it's success, whether it's finding happiness, or whether it's finding love or finding yourself. We can do it so much easily more easily when we have positive frequencies and vibrations and positive people, and positive uh, uh, situations. We are what we hang out with. We, we, we are what we think and we are, we become what we think we are. And when you're able to start reimagining a new positive life for yourself, that's not based on past emotions and experiences. When you're able to start creating, new reality for yourself that's when the real power and mindfulness comes in and that's when you really start to have some spiritual awakening that's what's been happening to me of late um with having gratitude and practicing mind awareness it's really powerful i'm able to uh, concentrate on what i want in life and what i don't want what i don't want for example negative people negative vibes people bringing me down um, anything distraction that's not to my goal. I want to be around positivity and I want to spread my positivity. And that's how we grow in life and that's how we find wealth and abundance and happiness when we surround ourselves with the people that we want to be like. People that we can actually be like. When we want to be successful in life, we need to remember to surround ourselves with positivity. Positivity is everything. Come to me more of recent how amazing it and it is and how important it is to have a home life that's that you feel comfortable that you don't feel you know like if you're, you know if you're having any bad relationships or anything and being able to feel comfortable at home or having a place to work where it's comfortable where you have no negative uh clashes no, no negativity if for creating a better world for yourself is so crucial. You need to have positive people in your life. You need to have positive vibes. You just what you do is you ignore the negative people in the world. That's what I do every day. I just ignore them, have empathy for them, and I do my own thing. And I hope everyone has a great weekend. Please subscribe. Um, just be remember to be mind aware and more uh, and about your conscious state. We can control our thoughts and. I make my own thoughts every day. You can too. It's about retraining our brain. Right.